Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is D Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we've got Titans Theme Team episode 26, I want to say, or 27, something like that. We've had a lot of them recently, so uh, let's go ahead and hop into the lineup. Now, this is the first Theme Team episode where we are a 95 overall with the Jared Cook addition to the team. That helped us out. Not only at tight end, we could have him at tight end starting and then have Jonu here at fullback uh, one. I went ahead and put Jonu here at tight end one because I feel like obviously he's one speed faster. Uh, and obviously I like to have my tight ends a little bit faster. So that's why I have Jonu there and uh, Jared Cook here at fullback. Also, Jared Cook is uh, back there on special teams too. So if they want to pooch kick it, they pooch kick it to Jared Cook. Uh, and he's almost guaranteed to break the first tackle. I think every time I had a chance to return a football with him, uh, you know, he breaks that first tackle. So, um, yeah. So, with the offense here, we've got Ryan Tannehill. We'll go ahead and check him out. I changed his ability. I don't think, it, I think I'm going to change it back here, but I do have Omaha on him. Um, I think you got to make six consecutive passes of five or more yards. Uh, I'm actually going to change that back to, um, Bazooka. I like Bazooka a little better. It's easier to go ahead and, and obtain. Um, and, you know, I think you only get to have to do like two, 15 or, yeah, complete 30 yard passes in the air. And you guys know me and my offense. I love to uh, go ahead and pass the ball on the field. So we'll go ahead and make that change there. But Ryan Tannehill, 98 overall. I would love to see him get that plus one overall, uh, you know, during the team of the week promo when it was still going. But Unfortunately, that did not happen. Uh, now, I want to go ahead and show you guys what we're rocking on offense here. Chemistry-wise, we are have we do have play fake on everyone that can get it, except for Darrington Evans, obviously, because he cannot. He's a silver card. Um, but, yeah, there's everyone with play fake, and then lockdown, we'll get to that in a second. Sprinter on offense. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of questions about, you know, who I have certain uh, chemistries on. So, there's everyone with Sprinter. Um, and then Brawler on offense. Pretty much every offensive lineman, actually, I need to go ahead and switch Jared Cook to Brawler uh, now that he's at fullback. So let's go ahead and do that right quick, and I, I'll switch back. Um, I'll go ahead and switch back Johnny Smith as well. I think I had Johnny Smith at fullback before this video. That's why he went, he, he lit up for um, went ahead and lit up for Brawler. So I have to switch him back to Sprinter. But yeah, pretty much the whole offense. I, I really love this offense. I would like to have a couple. Um, Maybe, maybe you know, obviously, uh, we're waiting on a Drew Bennett upgrade. That would be nice, but go ahead and throw a sprinter here on Janu here. Get him a little bit more fast, or faster, I should say. 95 overall, Janu Smith. He's an, he, he's awesome, guys. If you don't have Janu Smith already, a lot of people will just run him on their normal teams. Uh, especially if you have a Titans team, team get, pick up Janu Smith. He's awesome. But, yeah, I mean, the offense, we'll, we're going to get that Derrick Henry upgrade, uh, you know, soon because he's going to win Offensive Player of the Year. Um, and... Probably going to get the 97 overall LTD honors card. So that'll be powered up to a 98. So that'll be nice. Um, unless he gets a team of the year card. Now, with him, like, almost like 90% of, like, I'm pretty sure, like, he's favored to get the offensive player of the year. Like, it's a 90% chance he's going to get that. So uh, I doubt he gets team of the year because they're probably going to go with another running back there. But if he does get a team of the year card, that'll help. Because if he gets that LTD card, um, those are two overall different. So, like, let's say if he gets a 96 overall Team of the Year card and a 97 overall Honors card. What they did last year, I said this before in a video, but Michael Thomas had a Team of the Year card and he had an LTD Honors card. So what they did with that is they gave you the choice to put which one you want into the power-up. You didn't have to put both of them. You only had to put one. So if he does end up getting a Team of the Year card, that will be nice because it will save us a lot of coins. Because I don't want to spend that much coins on an LTD card, 97 overalls. He's going to be pretty expensive. But, yeah, offensively, of course, still waiting on the Drew Bennett upgrade. I think he'll have 99 speed on the theme team. Because right now, on his 90 overall, he, he's really slow, guys. He might be like 93, 94 speed on his 97 Legend card when he comes out, whenever that might be. Um, so, I don't know. He'll get to 99 speed because I think on his 90 overall, he has 86 speed to 90 overall or 90 speed. So maybe on a 97, he has like 92, 93 speed. So it's kind of unfortunate. So that's why I kind of want to hold off and hope that he gets a card later down the road so his speed's a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, pretty much it for the offense. We did get Nate Davis too. Um, I believe that was like last Friday. We got, yeah, last Friday we got him with the 
uh, you know, series update. So, yeah, I mean, the offense looking really nice here. I'd like to see a Taylor Lewan upgrade. That would be nice, too. But with that being said, guys, obviously, I think there, there's no way that Tyron Calico gets another upgrade. Um, I think he'll have to wait until the end of the year where they do power-up expansion because, you know, he wouldn't really – he played, like, three seasons. He played, like, a total of, I don't know, not many games at all, but – Glad they gave him a card this year because he was one of our best players early on in the uh, uh, Titans theme team series. But like I said, Derrick Henry is going to be the running back number one once he gets that upgrade over Barry. I like having Barry here, though, because I like to throw to him uh, when we go five wide and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on offense. Defense here. Let's go ahead and check everything everything out here. I mean, defensively, I mean, we have studs everywhere. I'd love to see a clowny upgrade soon, but... Um, maybe that doesn't happen, but I mean, I mean, look, we have so much depth at our, our middle linebacker position. Like Jayon Brown, I even have an ability on him because sometimes I throw him, uh, you know, I sub him in for Rashawn Evans in case I need a little bit more speed out there. Uh, but I believe Rashawn Evans and Jayon Brown actually have the same speed. I think I went ahead and threw this ability on when I have a when I had Avery Williamson at middle linebacker too, because Williamson is not that fast compared to Rashawn, so I probably want to. Uh, there's not really anywhere else that I can find, you know, that gets, you know, the, a, a solid ability for 1 AP. So I was like, just, let's just throw it on Jayon Brown in case we need to sub him in. Uh, so, yeah, Harold Landry plays, plays, a, play, he's a beast, guys. He's a beast. You guys seen the last uh, Titans Team Team episode. He got, you know, a couple picks. I think a pick six. Um, so, I mean, yeah, he's really, really nice. Uh, he doesn't have the best zone coverage stats, but, I mean, he plays really nice. If he has a chance to pick the ball, he's going to pick the ball. I uh, love him a lot. Sam Mills here, middle linebacker. He's a monster. We'll go ahead and check him out. Um, I had a gameplay on him last week. Uh, unfortunately, I've only had one gameplay out this week. We hadn't get, been getting much upgrades this week, so uh, the one upgrade we did get was Jared Cook. We went over him on the offensive side of the ball, but other than that, we've gotten nothing at all. But this Sam Mills is awesome. Plays amazing for me. 96 speed. Can't get much better than that. 98 acceleration. Uh, 99 tackling, 99 play rec. That's pretty. That's that's good. That, I mean, what else you want out of your middle linebacker? Obviously, he's gonna get a couple more upgrades uh, towards the end of the year, so he'll be around 98 speed by the time Madden is over uh, on a theme team, obviously. So that'll be nice too. He's got 90 block shed, 91 hit power, and 96 zone coverage. So uh, I love to use it with him. That's why I have Lurker on him. I have mid zone KO on him in case I want to use it with Rashawn Evans. Um, and when I think he's gonna, when I think my opponent's gonna run the ball, I like to use it with Rashawn Evans. Uh, and I'll show you what abilities I have on him because this helps me out a lot, uh, and it takes the opponent's running back out of play a lot. Uh, and I have him on special teams since he's middle linebacker too. I've had a couple of hit sticks where he's just he kills people on special teams and forces a fumble. He's had a fu forced fumble and a fumble recovery into it for a touchdown on you know kickoff. So. This is nice. Enforcer and deflator. So what happens here, he's going to hit stick you, and then you're probably going to be out the next play. Uh, because this two combination right here, it's very nice for only 3 AP two Run stopper, uh, middle linebackers, they get this combination for 3 AP total. So 1 AP for uh, enforcer, 2 AP for deflator. So if he gets a hit stick on the op opposing team's running back, he's most likely going to be out the next play. And if he goes no huddle or something like that and keeps him on the field, there's a higher chance he's going to fumble the next play. So... Very nice one-two punch there with those abilities on Rashawn Evans. Clowney plays great. Vaccaro plays great. He hits hard. Uh, Kevin Byard, 96 overall. He plays great. He's a ball hawk, guys. He's going to make some plays for me in the secondary there. D-line is amazing, too. One of you guys were asking me about uh, Jarrell Casey. Now, Jarrell Casey does get these secondary uh, positions. I do have him at D-tackle, obviously, you see there. So what, really, the, what the only thing this does is that you can just put him at D-tackle without... You know, if I take this off of him, the you know the the chemistries will just all x out. So let me show you for example. Um, so if I take those off and I go ahead and see see now they're x out. So but what when I uh, go ahead and put the, the tackle Kim on him, um, I accidentally uh, refunded. So I kind of just lost 50 training there. But when I put the uh, defensive tackle secondary Kim on there, he keeps his chemistry, so it helps the team total. So I mean, doesn't he, he stays at an 87 at D tackle? So when I back out here, he stays at 93 there. But when you see him at D tackle, he goes down to 87. That's just because where he's at on um, you know he goes down at, at D tackle. He stays at like a 93 at right end and left end. So, but he's really a wasted player because we already have two great players here in Kevin Carter. And we also have Javon Curse. Uh, so you talk about front seven, we have like front ten because we got so many good players here. 
Uh, Kevin Carter plays great. Javon Curse will get an Ultimate Legend towards the end of the year. Um, Jeffrey Simmons plays great for me. Um, I mean, every single guy on this front seven can go make a play for me. Every single one of them. I, you know, inside stuff, I recommend you guys to run inside stuff on your D tackle. That helps out a lot. Um, and right when he runs the ball up the middle, all you got to do is click on Albert Hainsworth or whoever you have at D tackle and go ahead and make the play. Now, one other thing is cornerbacks. That's, that's the one thing we're struggling with here. Uh, we still have a card that came out in like September or something. I think that's when Jonathan Joseph came out. Uh, as a veteran, he's an 89 overall, kimmed up to 93, which is not bad at all. Um, but still, like I said, if we don't get any cornerback upgrades, um, I mean, we have Desmond King here. Uh, let me show you guys who else we have. Not only do we have Desmond King, uh, we have two other corners sitting in the binder. Uh, and that those those guys are Dory Jackson and Jason McCourty. They have yet to get gotten upgrades this year. Um, I mean, a Dory Jackson... 82 overall with 87 speed, as you guys see there on the right side right there. 87 speed on Dory Jackson. I mean, guys, if he gets an upgrade, he's going to be really, really nice. Because if he gets like a mid-90s card, he's going to have 99 speed on the theme team easily. Same with Jason McCourty. Jason McCourty has solid speed there at an 82 overall with 85 speed. So if he gets a solid card, most likely a 99 speed corner on the theme team. So we're just a couple of upgrades away from going from great to like spectacular on defense so cornerbacks the only you know Achilles heel we have right now on defense so other than that everyone can go make a play everyone has gonna make a play for me so far this year so uh, I love the defense but special teams we're still rocking with a gold kicker um, you know towards the end of the year I might go ahead and go ahead and get me a pretty nice kicker that way I can go ahead and you know kick my 50 55 60 yarders if I need to Greg Joseph I think he can only hit like a 40 45 yarder or something like that so that kind of hurts me a little bit you know if it goes into like a field position type game I'm not gonna have the leg on my kicker where I can kick a 50 45 50 55 yarder if I need to so but Brett Kern he plays great for me punts the ball nice um, again like I said, I might have to upgrade that kicker a little bit down the road, but I was hoping for, you know, maybe a Rob Baronis card or something like that, but obviously that probably won't happen. Uh, but a Dory Jackson, we have him back here returning kicks for us. And, yeah, and I also have a Dory Jackson with return, man, so he gets those quicker change of direction on their return. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, there's your defense, and I forgot to go over the ability or chemistry, so let's go over those. We've got lockdown on every player possible. As you, got, you guys can see, the only two players that can't get it are Jack Crawford and Matt Dickerson, who, uh, you know, only are silver cards, so they can't get chemistries. Uh, then Sprinter on defense, there's everyone with Sprinter. Got Kevin Carter and Javon Curse. Uh, and Jeffrey Simmons looks like I got with Sprinter there, so... Uh, I could probably move one of those to Brawler, but we got 16 out of, uh, yeah, and I probably could do that since I got Big Beagle there, but we'll do it in the next next gameplay video. I'll have that fixed, uh, but yeah, there's your defense right there with your chemistries, and there's your offense. So, with that being said, we're in a new season. Let's go ahead and hop into it. I, did, I forgot to mention, too, I am in MVP, so a little bit tougher game, so let's go get a win. All right, guys, hopping into this one. There's our top three set mills. Ryan Tannehill and Randy Moss for taking on 99 Junior Seau, Rod Woodson at 98, and 98 Alvin Kamara. So, probably going to be a good game, guys. So, see if we can go ahead and get this win. All right, guys. Coming out in eye form, he's got Josh Allen at quarterback. I don't want to go ahead and... I thought about coming out and run D, but great stop there by Rashawn Evans. And what I want you, what I want you guys to look at, see how he lit up there, uh, and now he has his backup in. So with that one tackle, Alvin Kamara is out of the game, uh, which is very nice. And I'm on Albert Hainsworth, who throws the ball right at Albert. He throws the ball right at Albert Hainsworth. Sam Mills was there to knock it out, but imagine if I got a pick with Albert Hainsworth, that'd have been hilarious. But Third and eight here. See if we can get a stop. Josh Allen under center once again. We're going to play the pass. Obviously, I think it's a pass. Let me get on Sam Mills. There we go. Let's go ahead and quarterback contain. Out the pocket. Nothing. Will route. Picked off. Aeneas Williams off the deflection. Aeneas Williams. I tried to juke in, but we got it to the 31-yard line. He tried to fit one in there to a pretty tight window. Uh, I think that was Gronk. He was trying to fit it in the two, but Aeneas Williams comes away with a pick. I mean, if we can get... like. Aeneas Williams, I think, is like a 90, 95, 97 speed on the theme team. Uh, so if we can get like a Tory Jackson upgrade, I said that earlier in the video, if we can get that one upgrade, 
you know, that could turn in fr turn from a pick to a pick six with that little bit of extra speed there. Obviously, um, uh, might not be the biggest upgrade, like not the biggest change in speed wise, but let's see if we can go ahead and get a touchdown here. Looking for a Dory Jackson, Johnny Smith, and Randy Moss. If nothing's open, we'll look for Barry. Uh, and Randy Moss, can we lean, lead that into the inside? Brandy, backside, end zone. He got it. Touchdown, Titans. There we go. One play, touchdown, big play, big pass. Ryan Tannehill to Randy Moss. And we go ahead and knock that one on through to make it 7 to nothing. Great start. All right, guys. Next offensive drive for or offensive drive for him. Uh, I see he's going to run it to the outside, see if we can get a stop, and Clowney's there to clean it up. No gain on the play. We have two rushes for Kamara, two yards, so we'll definitely take that ratio right there. Um, see if we can go ahead and get another stop. We're going to still play the pass. I'm going to try and take away the run as, as much as I can here. Uh, with, oh, no, I accidentally clicked on the Anish Williams. That almost was bad there, but he gained six there. So it's going to be third and, and medium, I guess you could say, third and four here. We're up 7 nothing here, so I don't want to... Gamble and go, you know, call all out blitz here. See if we can go ahead and get a stop here. Um, I do think, oh, so it's not a run. He's gonna dump it off to the flats. Can Kenny Vaccaro get there? I clicked on, try to get him away from that blocker, but he's got enough to get the first down there. It's first and 10 at the 37. Uh, might go and look hard flats, uh, since he likes it. Looks, you know, he lo he's been looking to dump it off to the flats as Albert Hainsworth was there. And we couldn't make the tackle. Derrick Henry falls forward. He is a he's an absolute monster. If he gets that 97 overall, he is going to be a monster on next gen because I know how hard it is to tackle him in current gen. Everyone's been saying it is impossible to tackle Derrick Henry. Not only just tackle, him, but you know you can tackle Derrick Henry, but he's going to fall forward for more yards. So we got to look to contain this run here. Um, he's just going to run back and forth, back and forth all day long. And Sam Mills able to make the play. Or that's for Sean Evans. So most likely Kamara is going to be out this next play. If he isn't, then we could force a fumble here. That was a great play by Rashawn Evans. As you guys can see, he is out of the game. So that helps out a lot. Almost taking my opponent out of the game. And we're able to run him down with Hainsworth. As I was accidentally using Hainsworth once again trying to make my adjustments. As he fits one in there. Pretty tight window there. I'm not sure who that is. But... Great looking pass from Josh Allen to number 85. I'm not sure who that is, but he's going back under center. I'm going to play the run here. Uh, see if I can get back to Rashawn or Sam Mills. And it is a pass. And thank God he dumped it off because I think he had a touchdown. Actually, he just made it into a touchdown anyway with the dump off. But I'm not sure what. I, I think that was Cortland Finnegan over there. He looks silly over there. Can't make a tackle, but. He's looking to tie the game up here. Morton Anderson on to kick it, and he's got it straight through. Ties it up at seven apiece. All right, guys, our second play on offense. First one resulted in a touchdown, so we're still going to look for, um, you know, our guy Randy Moss here. But if he's not open, maybe someone else is. We're going to dump it off here to Barry Sanders, make a juke. Barry gets about seven there on the play, maybe six. Six yards there. Tannehill, two for two, 37 yards and a touchdown. That was a big-time play by Aeneas Williams to start the game there with that pick. Um, but going to come out the same play here, looking to dump it off to whoever we can. Um, and we're going to dump it off to Barry. He's going to have to choose there who to go ahead and you know guard, either that being Andre Johnson or uh, Barry Sanders, as that is going to be turned into a third and one. I'm actually going to go ahead and run this play. I'm going to look for a little inside zone handoff here uh, to Barry. See if we can go ahead and pick up a yard here. He, yeah, it's wide open there. Hopefully, he can't fit that. And hopefully, our line can go ahead and get some blocks here. And we can. I was just trying to pick up the yards there. I didn't want to go ahead. I could. I guess I could have bounced that out to the outside. I'm going to run it again here. But I guess I could have went ahead and bounced that to the outside. I might try here. Uh, but it was pretty open there to the outside. If we can go ahead and get some blocks here, maybe we can turn this thing into a nice little run. Barry breaks the tackle. Gets to the 46. Solid run there. Second and medium now. We're going to go ahead and go back to the five wide play. St. Strags, I love it. He looks like to be coming out, and he's going to audible straight into the cover two because he knows that cover three is absolutely cooked against this. So going to look uh, for Andre Johnson, for Randy Moss, and Randy Moss, we're going to lead him to the inside, and that's going to be another touchdown. Titans, baby. Let's go. Going up 14-7 to seven here, pending the extra point. That is a big play. I thought he audible to a cover you know, a cover two, but I guess he didn't. He might have baseline and made me think it was a cover two, and then I, he stayed in cover three, but 
That's my first read. If Randy's open, I'm throwing it to Randy, and that's most likely a touchdown every time. 14-7. Let's go ahead and we got to get a stop here. All right, my opponent comes out in a, you know, under under center formation look again as Rashawn Evans can't get out there. No, and I just missed two hit sticks, and Kamara is off to the races. Sam Mills is not going to be able to chase him down. And we need to stop there, and we can't get the stop. So Kamara is able to take that one on through to the end zone to make it a... See if he can go ahead and knock this one on through to make it 14 to 14 tied up here. And that's exactly what he does there with Morton Anderson. 14 apiece now with 2 minutes 54 seconds. We, we should be able to score, right? We, we, we should be able to score pretty easily. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's do just that. And just like that, guys, Ryan Tannehill has his X Factor activated, which means he can throw... 15 plus yards, you know, what his actual throw power is, he can throw out 15 yards further than that. So, gonna look for something deep here, obviously. And Randy again. Does he have a step? Does he? Look at that ball. Look at that ball by Ryan Tannehill. Moss stays in bounds to the 18. And just like that, we flip the field. Probably not the smartest thing to do to go no huddle. I'm actually gonna go ahead, audible this to a inside zone. Uh, let's see if we can just get Barry, get a couple yards for me here. Because uh, I don't like going in five wide in the red zone. I don't have much room to work with. But Barry Sanders falls forward to the 12. So gain of six. We're going to go ahead and take this down to the two-minute warning. See what we can come out here on the other side of the two-minute warning with. All right, guys. This is another formation I love out of the Saints playbook. You got a lot of plays to look for. I'm going to look for a Dory Jackson here in the corner. I'm actually just going to run this ball. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go back to it. Let's see if we can get something. I'm going to go ahead and block Barry. I don't like him on the wheel route. He might get open, but Dory's who we're going to look for. He's not going to be open, but Randy Moss is, and that's right at the sticks. I think we might be a yard short. We're going to go no huddle. I'm going to try and pick this up with Barry here right up the gut. Come on, Barry. See if we can get these yards. Come on. See if we can get these yards. Is he inside stuff? War and sap just destroys us, and it's fourth and three. I'm going to come out and play. I'm going to try and chew off as much clock as I can. And I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my chances with three points here. I'm going to chew this all the way down because uh, if he doesn't call timeout here, um, he's going to have around a minute to work with. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to chew out the clock, tick it down to a round where he's going to have like a minute five to go ahead and make some plays. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take my delay of game and kick my three. So... It's going to go ahead and accept that penalty. We're going to kick a 32-yarder and hopefully make it here and go up uh, three. See if we can go ahead and knock this through with Greg Joseph. And off just a little bit, but we're still able to fit that one on through. 17-14, three-point lead for us. we got to get a stop now. All right, guys. Really, the only couple of plays that he's beating me on is, is run plays. So we're going to look to go ahead and stop the run. Kenny Vaccaro out there to force him back inside of Sam Mills where he cleans it up there. Sam Mills with a hit stick tackle on Kamara. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can do it once again. He's going to throw the ball. He's going to look. Warren Sapp. Oh, my goodness. If Warren Sapp had hands, we have the pick with Big Al. Oh, I said Warren Sapp. I'm not, I don't know. I'm thinking Warren Sapp. I guess because he has Warren Sapp. But I meant Big Al Hainsworth there in the middle of the field. Almost makes a play on the football. He did make a play on the football. But as right there, Rashawn Evans comes and says hello to Kamara right there with a the big hit. Let's see what he does. If he goes ahead, if he doesn't punt this ball, he's gonna give us a shot here to get some more points to, at the end of the you know at the end of the half. So we're gonna look to see what we can do here. Get our adjustments down. Make sure we're in our yep. That's exactly what I want to do here. And cross the field is gonna be wide open. And Harold Landry is just a hair late to get there. First and ten for him. He just ran a couple crosses across the field. He's going right back into I form. Um, again, like I said before, we are an MVP. So and once again, or Sean Evans is able to come and make the play. But he's gonna go no huddle here. Chew off some time. So. See if I can go ahead and watch the pass as Albert Hainsworth can't get there. Gets out of bounds with 12 seconds. He might can get a field goal out of this, though. So that was kind of a... Uh, man, if Albert Hainsworth got that pick, that would have been hilarious. Um, I, I dropped back in coverage with Albert Hainsworth. He almost got the pick. Um, that was funny. But 
I form once again. He's gonna look for the underneath, and who is that? That is Clowney. He's gonna have to use his last timeout. Big sack. Jadavion Clowney coming off the edge with eight seconds to go here in the quarter. We got to look to just take away any any outside routes we see. He's going to run it once again. If we can just tackle him inbounds, it is good. We are good to go there. It's going to chew off the clock with no timeouts. So, going into half, I can't remember if we get ball back or not. I think we, we do get ball because we started off with that pick. So, yeah, we do. So, if we can go ahead and score here and make it a two-possession game, that would be very nice because he's yet to show that he can stop me on offense. All right. Tannehill still has the bazooka activated. We're going to look for the deep routes once again. Looks like it's coming out in cover two. Might be a, a disguised look cover three. Just got to read what the, the defenders do on the ups, on the back side there. We're going to take Barry Sanders underneath as he's going to get some yards there. Gets about four. Five yards to the 29. We're going to run the same play here. Going to look to see if we can. I, I think if Andre Johnson's open, he should have a lot of green grass to work with because that Randy Moss route takes all those defenders and, and forces them way back down the field. So if he takes away Barry, we might have Andre for some yards here. So let's see what he does. And we're just going to dump it off to Barry. That defender's right there, and Barry makes the guy miss. Barry gets all the way to the 45-yard line. Man, I love Barry Sanders so much. He's a great receiving back um, out of the backfield. And as you guys can see, Derrick Henry is in the game now. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and, and audible to a inside zone with Derrick with five seconds on the play clock. Can we go ahead and get the snap off? Maybe, maybe not. And we are not going to be able to get that play off. But Derrick Henry in the game now. Might have gave. I'm going to go ahead and run. Uh, Barry Sanders is back in the game. So let's see if we can get uh, Barry Sanders going here. Inside zone. Can we bounce it to the outside? Maybe. Bounce it back into the inside. Barry gains six there. We'll take six yards. He's got five rushes on the ground uh, for 18 yards. So uh, definitely more lethal through the air for me on offense. We're going to look. Go ahead and streak a Dory on that side. Because normally if it's a cover two, I like to streak a Dory Jackson on the right side because that makes that safety pull over a little bit more to a Dory and then I can just lead it to the inside again with Janu. But I don't think he's in cover two. Uh, he is in cover two, but again, can we go ahead and do this? Okay, I, I, you know, I had to take my tack there. I didn't want to throw that right to uh, you know one of his players there. So third and 16. He's in cover four. I do have a cover four beater in the playbook, so let's see if we can go ahead and do just that. Um, again, all of our players are tired, so let's see if I can go ahead and get them, um, uh, you know, get their fatigue up a little bit here. Um, but I think I'm going to have to take a delay. Go ahead and, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a delay game here and come out with a fresh set of players out in the field because I don't want to come out here with, you know, very fatigued players and, uh, um, you know, not be able to run this uh, cover four beater. Because if he comes out of cover four, we should have it. Uh, because what we do here, Taysom Hill slot, I like this a lot. We have Taysom Hill slot, I like that a lot. That's a, uh, it rhymes. But hey, PA Reed is a nice little play to beat cover four. Because uh, you're going to, you're going to see, uh, this beats cover three too, I believe. Watch Vince Young here. Uh, we're going to put him on a drag, and I want you to watch this safety. So what happens here, that safety that's right over the top of Vince Young here is going to come down, and the safety on the right with uh, Randy Moss is going to bite down on that comeback. Let's see, and that's not happening. That's not what happened at all. We have Vince Young wide open, and I guess he played his, his, his safeties back there. So I look like a pretty stupid fellow there uh, saying all that stuff, and it not happened. So we're going to have to take our chances and punt the ball here. Hopefully our defense can make a play. Uh, let's see if we can get Brett Kern to punt this thing on the sideline. Looks like we have done just that. If that can get over a little bit, and it's not going to be out of bounds, but can someone go make a play for me? He's got DK Metcalf returning kicks, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, with a minute and six to go, got to look to get a stop here, guys. He's been, he's, that cover four has been giving me trouble, but I can definitely just run out of that cover four, uh, and I don't have to worry about anything. As Albert Hainsworth got through the middle there, but Sam Mills... Is able to you know stretch it out there and force the gain of nothing at all. So still gonna look to contain the run. I'm gonna use it with Rashawn Evans. It's gonna be a run to the other way, the other side, I should say. And he gains five. So it's gonna be third and five. Uh, I don't I don't want to play the the pass here. I don't want to play the run either. So Sam Mills comes and makes a play. That's exactly what we needed. Fourth and five. He's gonna no huddle it. I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to think it's a, it's a pass, and I'm going to play the flats. He might try and dump it off here to the flats, and it's picked off. Sam Mills got it. What a play by Sam Mills. That's what we needed. I saw Gronk. 
I know he likes to throw the Gronk, so I was just going to like shade over the top of Gronk. Uh, and we're going to see if we can just keep this thing on the ground. Um, and this looks like it might be a cover three. Uh, but I'm going to keep it on the ground with Barry. See if we can get our blocks here up front. Kevin Mawai. And we just stumble there for a gain of one. That's going to be the last play of the third quarter. So if we can keep this thing on the ground, chew some clock off, get, you know, if we can get a touchdown, that would be nice. But three points would be fine too. So let's keep this thing on the ground, inside zone with Barry. Um, looks a little bit more open here. So let's see what we can do here with Barry Sanders. As we bounce to the outside, he breaks a tackle but gets nowhere. Gains two yards. Cover four again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, instead of having Randy run that deep route, we're going to have him on a slant. And we're going to go ahead and clear out Janu, clear out Adori. And we're going to bring in Barry and have him block for us there. So let's see what we can get. Two crosses across the field. See what we can get. Andre, that was a bad throw. That was a terrible throw. We got to just make the tackle, Ryan Tannehill. Make the tackle. Good tackle, Ryan Tannehill. So that was a bad throw. I, I completely, I did not see that safety there at all. Ronnie Lott makes the play on the football. I tried to lead it forward right when I saw him because, you know, that was just a bad play. And we take the outside, but, you know, Kamara cuts it in. And this might be a ball game, guys. He's been clamping me up on, 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 you know, on offense. Defensively, we have been able to stop. We have, you know, somewhat been able to stop the run. We're going to go hard flats. He's going to run it once again. And Derrick Henry falls forward. Like I'm saying, guys, that Derrick Henry on next gen is even better than that. He falls over five bodies. And, you know, just like that, they're at the three. Let's go ahead and go hard flats. See if we can go ahead and get the tackle. We cannot. Second and goal, he scores, takes the lead. So, with how much time we have, what, just over two minutes, two minutes, 28 seconds to go. Going to look for a game-winning drive here with the Titans theme team. This would be a nice way to end the theme team episode with a, a game-winning drive. We're going to, you know, you know, we're going to have to get, you're going to have to get seven points here. Um, 21 to 17, three points doesn't tie it. You got to get seven points here. So, a good return here would be nice. I hope he, I honestly like returning kicks with Jared Cook more than I do with Dory Jackson. I like when he, when you know sometimes he pooches it, but he's not gonna pooch it there. We're gonna try and still get a return out of here with a Dory Jackson. See if we can go to the left, cut back to the right. That looked promising there for a second, but we get it to the 26. Very solid return from a Dory Jackson. Cover four. Huh. <sighs> I'm gonna go back to the cover four beater. Obviously didn't work that last time, but you know. I might start going under center and running the football a little bit. We're going to go ahead and run this ball because we have three timeouts to work with, too. Pinches is line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and he's got inside stuff on that guy in the middle. So I'm going to double team him, take away inside stuff, and Barry just get loose for me. Get to the outside. Barry jukes in. Barry not doing much. Loss of one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go under center. Actually, I'm going to run a screen pass. Uh, now I'm going to save the screen for... Um, I'm going to save the screen for if it's a third and long or something like that. Uh, but we're going to look for the outside zone here. See if we can get the stretch play going with Barry to the right side. Barry Sanders jukes in. Barry gets nothing there. So, man, nothing much doing here. I'm going to have to look for the screen now. So, looking for the screen here. We're going to go ahead and go um, whatever this formation is. I have no idea. Nothing's been working for me offensively. Uh, but let's see if we can just go ahead and hit Barry. And that's what we do. Can we get some blocks there? Kevin Mawai. And he just got up. He got pancaked and just got right back up. But it's fourth and two. We got to look for something here. I'm going to go to the five wide. And then and cover four. Um, in the cover four, I'm going to look for Barry or Andre Johnson. On, uh, Barry Sanders has been getting me two yards uh, most of the game. So going to look for that. Can we go ahead and get it? We're going to go ahead and dump that off. Andre Johnson, just catch it. I don't want to go ahead and go rack. Right. We're going to call timeout. Um, save us a little bit of time there. Cover four. If we can just go ahead and take those dink and ducks to the end zone, I will take that all day. I don't care how we get into the end zone. It's just the fact that we have to get into the end zone. So going to look for everything here across the middle. I see that we have. There's a little bit of room there with Johnny Smith as Barry can't get much there but three yards. Going to see if I can fit this into uh, Johnny Smith here, 10 seconds too off. We got to look to go fast here. Ryan Tannehill back in the pocket. Watch. Let's see if we can go ahead and low ball. Oh my god, I threw it right at him. I'm so bad at the video game. I'm so bad. What? I don't even know why I thought to low ball that. That was so silly. But 
Well, gotta get a stop here. I mean, no, I just lost us the game. If I could have just taken all those dink and dunks there, unless Rashawn Evans can go make a play for us. As Albert comes up the gut and Kamara gets a solid gain there. Gonna have to call timeout. We're gonna have to play to hopefully stop the run here. There's 30 seconds on the play clock, so the only thing we have is a miracle left. Um, and we get it stretched out. He's at the sticks and he's got the first. That's tough. Man, that is so tough. I wish we could have won this game, but... It's our first loss of the season. I went ahead and played a couple more games to start this season off too. But unless we can force a, a fumble here in the last couple of seconds here, we have lost this game because of me throwing a terrible ball. I threw two bad balls. I'm going to have to go. Going to have to take our chances here. He comes out and he's still running the ball. He could just t definitely just take a knee here. We're going to look to strip the ball and go aggressive on tackling as well. Um... See if we can go ahead and get our run D here too, because obviously, oh, that's not our run D, but we'll try it anyway. Go ahead and go hard flat. Try our best to do something here. Uh, that was a chance. We that was the the chance we needed right there. He jukes right into an aggressive tackling, Rashawn Evans, and that's gonna do it, guys. So that is gonna chew off the rest of the clock. That's gonna do it for the gameplay video. That was a tough one to lose. My bad, guys. I, you know, I threw a couple picks there toward the end that were just terrible. Cover four does give me some trouble. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into into, into the playbook uh, and go ahead and see if I can find. But as you guys seen, the the, the Saints drags works as cover four. Uh, if I can just make the right read, one's gonna be open. If he doesn't use her, you know, Barry Andre's gonna be open. If he doesn't use her, Andre Barry's gonna be open. Uh, and Johnny Smith was open there. Just a tad late. If I threw that ball a little bit later and didn't lowball it, I think I had the catch. Uh, I didn't know why I lowballed it there, but basically just threw the ball away to him. I think we what were we up? I think I think we we're only up seven there. Uh, I don't think we ever went up two possessions. Um, maybe we did. I can't remember. But beautiful pass there from Tannehill to Moss to start the game. Yeah, we started off with a pick though. That was nice. Um, the takeaways. He had two. We had two takeaways too. Um, we had more passing yards. He had more rushing. He was a run first, uh, you know, type of player. He had a Camara and he had Derrick Henry, both with abilities. So, you know, I don't think he had one ability on his his wide receivers. So, a run first player that we just played. He was 56 yards for a touchdown with Josh Allen. We were 201, two touchdowns with Tannehill. He had two picks though as well. Um, Randy Moss, four catches, 152 yards. Barry Sanders, nine carries, 21 yards. He was a lot better, you know, through the years. All in all, a pretty close game throughout the end, and then we just couldn't put any points up on the, in the fourth quarter there. But, man, tough way to go out on theme team uh, video, but it is what it is. Uh, played a solid game. The only two things that cost us were the two turnovers. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, if, you're not, if you are not already subbed and you've watched this far into the video, go ahead and sub, man. It, it helps me out tremendously. Uh, but, yeah, with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And yeah, till next time, I'll see y'all.